What's up everyone, welcome back. Um, today on Ye Old Channel, we are going to start on the engine bay. We're finally getting towards like the exterior portion of the car and um, the engine bay looks like shit and I don't want it to look like shit anymore. <laughs> so we're gonna get on cleaning that. It's looking pretty rough in there. Um, lots of funk, I'm not sure what it's all from, but we'll figure it out. Um, I know this is kind of a sketchy idea for some, me included, because of the water and uh, the electricals and all that stuff. So I'm going to do things that I think are preventative for water issues and uh, go from there. So let's just jump into it and see what we got. Also, um, I'm not going to be pressure washing because um, that's just more nerves than I want to add right now. So, yeah. I will be doing some polishing today, uh, but it is pretty confident I can do it by hand. It's just the heat shield, so it should be all right. <laughs> Look at that. Gross, 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 and more gross. The direct sunlight was causing me some blowout image issues, so I threw up my 10 by 10 pop-up tent and... Uh, Hopefully that gives me some shade and some better lighting conditions. <laughs> Yo, these manifold bolts were so rusted on there. Like, unbelievable how hard it was to get those off. I had to bust out the air tools. Um, just craziness how rusted they were. Yo, I just got the strut bar off and there is no reason why those little nuts should ever be that tight on the strut bar. Just everything I had plus air tools to get them off. I just, why? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cover up the alternator, the fuse box, and the air filter, just for good measure. a giant hole in it but you know. fix that ta-da I'm probably overreacting because when you're driving it in the rain, the water is splashing up and getting into everything anyway. But I don't know. I just feel better doing this. <laughs> okay. As you can see, I taped up some connectors that I was a little fuzzy about. Don't know if it means anything, but they're taped up now. It calms my nerves, so. Now I guess we just get to spraying.
All right. Well. Now my favorite part is using this little fella. I'm blowing out all the water. This old shit's back again. <laughs> so, I'm doing more polishing because the heat shield was rusted from the bolts. So I'm just gonna do what I can to get that off. And um, I don't think it should be that hard. This is actually coming off really, really easy, and this thing looks almost brand new. Check it out. Looks pretty dang good. <laughs> okay, so here's the old bolts. Super shitty, really rusty, blech. Got the fresh new polished up shield. Boom. Yes, sir. We're going to pop some titanium on there. That should look super sick. Okay, so minor setback on the heat shield. Um, apparently, the FP manifold is different than the stock manifold on the Evo 9s. Um, the holes are not quite as deep, so these bolts are uh, a little bit too long. So I'm gonna have to saw them off, I guess. <laughs> I gotta do some other grinding and some other things later on, so I'm gonna wait till then, but um, should look cool when it's done. Also, check out this little custom ditty here where we dremeled out around the uh, exhaust temperature gauge a long time ago. I think that's pretty sweet. Genius, if I do say so myself. <laughs> okay, so if you're curious as to how much the difference is, um, this is obviously the stock bolt here, and then this is the other bolt. So just a little bit. Um, the bolts are from JD Customs, but this is no fault of his. Um, they're just, the hole is not as deep, so 
I'll have to trim them up and uh, go from there. All right, so I just got the headlights off and <laughs> the amount of shit that's behind them is insane, um, especially on the passenger side. Um, it looks like it's from the engine work, I don't know. There's like a thick layer of gunk of like grease, oil, everywhere. Um, I would have thought they would have wiped that out while the engine was out. It's like, you're right there, there's nothing in the engine bay. Um, why would you wanna work through that and like get it all over everything else? Um, I would have wiped it out if it were me. Um, maybe I'm overthinking it or expecting too much. Anyway, that was not in my control then, but it is now, so let's get to cleaning it. God, look in there. It's a good shot out right there. Oh yeah. I need to figure out something to do with this, come on, focus. With my ABS thing here, it's like really rusty on it. Um, might try to sand that off and paint it maybe, but it's kind of bothering me. <laughs> All right, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, don't mind my towel there, but everything's nice and clean under the hood. All that good stuff. Um, this is where it was behind the headlight earlier with all that gunk you saw. Um, that's all nice and clean now. Um, really happy with that. Down into here where it was really bad. Um, this is all nice and clean. So uh, yeah, it is coming along. Alright guys, that's going to end it off on this one. Um, today was a long day of cleaning and wiping and throwing away rags honestly. <laughs> I don't know where all that grease and stuff came from under there but um, I can't keep thinking about it because there's no point and um, it's clean now and that's all that matters. So uh, we'll move on from there and um, I'm sure I'm going to hit it again when I get to the undercarriage but we'll take care of it then. It's no big deal. Um, next up we got to do clay barring, trunk jams, door jams, all that kind of stuff. Um, headlights, they were really cruddy on the back of those, got to clean them. I'm assuming the tails are just the same so we'll take care of that. Uh, but uh, yeah, 
Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, leave a comment down below what you think so far. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. That does help out a bunch. And see you next time. Bye.